23,000 scientists have discovered something absolutely amazing. People are going wild for it. After thousands of painstaking trials, millions spent on research and development, an oil within a special species of tilapia has been found. This oil, when combined with apple cider vinegar, mother of apple cider vinegar, does something incredible. It has been found to truly thin the skin. Truly thin the skin of rats. That's my boy Steve Hall right there, educating the masses in the future. Modern day times, he's doing the same. The Revive Stronger podcast. The Revive Stronger podcast with Steve Hall. If you are not listening to that, hey, you need to listen to that. It's one of the few podcasts that I, I try to stay up to date with. Like, I, I'm hardly ever behind. Um, you need to gain muscle, losing fat, gaining strength. That's the one to check out. Um, speaking of uh, falling behind um, or, or the behind, this was my posterior chain, dominant uh, lower body day. Uh, good mornings. That is the movement I start off with. We're not doing 315 this week. Last week we did we did that and uh, we paid for it in regards to just like tightness back there. And not to mention, um, I kind of redistributed the load in a way that it made the movement not as effective as it was on this day. On this day, man, like those hamstrings, I felt like they were gonna fly out. Um, fantastic movement uh, when I do it right. Um, yes, my spinal erectors, do get a lot of, uh, of, of tickling. However, uh, the majority of the work is being done by the glutes and hamstrings, a bigger muscle group there. So um, so yeah, I'm keeping that one for a minute. Um, this other movement I absolutely love as well. Um, however, uh, we were doing a dual leg, we're gonna do it single leg for a minute. Reason for this is, um, so back in 2008, when I mangled my SI joint, um, whenever it's acting up, my right side is tight, and I suspect that this is because it's the right side is doing more work than it should. Um, and on my left side, top of my left glute, a bit smaller, hamstring as well, spinal erectors as well. So we're going to see if we can even things out. Two weeks in, it feels fantastic. have had no issues when it comes to that. Every once in a while, it flares up a bit, but I know exactly what to do to kind of get things back in order. But, um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know more as I know more. But that's how we're going to do it from now on. Um, love those two movements. This movement, not so much. The overhead pressing, I'm doing more so. So you can see there's a little bit of an arch there. Uh, more than you would for a strict overhead press. Um, single arm. If you ain't doing it this way, give it a go. Try it. A huge difference. Um, most people just feel more comfortable going overhead and using um, uh, the adequate range of motion when they're doing one side at, at a time. It seems like it's that way with a lot of upper body stuff. Um, but yeah, um, yes, some shoulder work here. Yes, some tricep work, but my uh, clavicular head, so my upper chest is like right in the line of fire. Um, and the days afterwards, boy, am I feeling it. Um, so that's usually a good sign. Like, you know, if, if you feel soreness in, uh, in or fatigue in the muscle groups that you are tar targeting the, the days afterwards, that means that hey, you're probably using, um, you know, good form. So um, with this movement, it is causing soreness because it's new, only two sets a week and I've been progressing really well with that. I'm gonna keep it that way for a minute because if I do two sets, I'm more likely to continue doing it. Um, and because hey, I don't need much, I think once I get better at it, I'll be okay with doing more. But uh, right now, this is, uh, Hey, this is plenty and it's getting the job done and I don't exactly look forward to the movement yet. Seal rows, hey, you know my relationship with them. I wasn't doing them most of the last off season because um, there was no practical setup. But then my boy Brian made these boxes. Much love to my boy Brian. Um, it's made um, seal rowing something that I can do in this gym. And even though I have a wide assortment of hammer strength machines, I much rather uh, do this movement, especially when it's this easy and practical to uh, to set up. Um, but things are going great. Two pounds away from, I think, being in that unstoppable weight range of 190 to 200. Um, top end weight, I think this off season will be 200. When I cut down, it'll be to 190. And just kind of bouncing back and forth between those two marks. Uh, I'll never start to prep over 180, but I am gonna be handling my business at this body weight. Uh, so I have to put it back in on that, on that squat set because 
hey, the weight was sliding. Then my boy Nick, he came through with some clips and uh, we were able to squat and pee. So um, yes, priority number one this off season is to get big and jacked. However, I want that 500 pound squat. So me and the guys a few years back, we, yeah, it was a little friendly wager, a race to 500. And um, hey, I, I feel like I'm making a good little surge uh, right now. So we'll see, we'll see. No one's, it's been a few years. I can't tell you guys how long it's been because it's kind of embarrassing. Um, but, um, but yeah, see which 3D muscle journey coach is the first one to squat. 500 pounds. Um, so yeah, the pin squats are still the flavor of the week right now. Absolutely love them. They destroy my legs because of the lack of stretch reflex. I depend on that thing so much. Uh, I get a lot out of that bounce at the bottom. Um, so 435 for a single RP8, I'd say. I had two more reps in there. First rep with heavy weights right now is still the worst rep. So I take that into account. Um, so the second rep would have been better. Third rep would have been about as good as the first rep. So from that, I base off my work and we get to work and that's what you're seeing here. This is one of my back offsets. I take off the pins for the last one and then just kind of, hey, practice that that uh, that, that stretch reflex because at some point it will be, um, yeah, it, it, it will, I'll, I'll want to remember how to do that thing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. This is a short report and that's just because things are going that good. Things are super predictable. I'm taking care of business. I have three more weeks before I have to deload. Um, so I'm gonna keep milking this um, just a wee bit longer. I think next one I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make it a bit longer for you guys. Uh, we'll get into the behind the scenes stuff. Maybe some food eating, um, some inside the mind type stuff. Maybe take you guys through a full day or two full days and and uh, make make it one of those epic like 17, 20 minute uh, entries. But things are going that well. Uh, this was the last set, 355 for I think it was a set of 10 and. Um, I stopped right at my first slow reps. I probably had about three more left in the in the tank. So, hey, not bad. <sighs> Off season, out of breath. Um, but that's where we're at. We're doing really well, and I am. I think more than ever, I appreciate the fact that I can play this game. Um, it's a privilege, absolutely. Um, it's a privilege to have you guys join in and take interest in, in what I'm doing. So I appreciate that too. So. Um, just letting you guys know that. Um, but with that said, that's how this week went. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll do something special for you guys next week because, A, you guys deserve it. I appreciate it. Um, but as of right now, that's where we're at. Um, as you know, like if you like. Um, but I like you guys tagging along. All right? I'll see you guys next week.